Hi, folks. This is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. You know, I've often come on here and talked about some of the things that I see when I go fishing, things that aren't necessarily about the fish, but the other animals and birds that live in the area. And I've been amazed as I've watched some of these things. I've I've been amazed to share the water with blue herons. I told you about this last year. I used to go along the Grass River, places where I would slowly wade, and I'd find myself fishing alongside one of my partners, which would be a blue heron. And how wonderful it was for me, just the feeling of watching that heron, knowing that I no longer alarmed it and allowed me to fish along with it. And I recently heard this report that I wanted to share with all of you. Maybe some of you have heard of it also. But I've often talked about the incredible intelligence of crows, how they can recognize different people, how they can commute. They have different languages, basically, that they speak. Well, I heard this this story about this biologist that, that observed a crow funeral and you know, think about it. Just the very idea is wondrous and almost mind-blowing. But he said that he was observing a group of crows, and one of the crows had stayed too long on the road and got hit by a car, and its body was hurled off to the side, and it lay there dead. And it wasn't long before all the crows in the area congregated together, and they landed in trees around where this dead crow lay, and Shortly, about eight crows, he said, flew out of the tree and came down and landed along the ground near the dead crow. And they did whatever. They they sort of circled around it. They looked at it, and one would go up close and then come back, and then another one. And after a while, those eight crows flew back and landed on the tree. And after they did that, eight more crows, or maybe it was 10 or 12, it doesn't matter, flew down, and they... They did the same thing. They they uh, landed around the crow, and they, they sort of came up to it and back, and they left. And after a while, all the different crows in little groups had gone down and paid their respects to their dead brethren. And then, after all this took place, they flew off into the distance and went their separate ways. But it's a profound, a profound thought to think that these birds have this much of a sense of social family, I guess you could say. They are very smart, but they're smart in other ways, and maybe they're smart enough to sense to sense something like this happening. I told the story a year or so ago about being at my sister's house in Messina and how the, there was a great big, well, there's a couple of great big trees in the backyard, and it's home to several squirrels and birds, and we often sit in the kitchen table and just look out and watch the animals. Well, one day, this this small squirrel, it, it seemed like it was injured or sick or something, but I watched it start to leave the area. The other squirrel stopped and watched, and it left, and there was a cat in the area that had been watching as well. And shortly, the two, the cat and the squirrel, disappeared across the street. It wasn't long after that that all the squirrels started making this almost like commotion. And they came from all over the neighborhood. And they all went across the tree branches. And they went to the other side of the street where that sick crow or that sick squirrel and the cat had gone. And it was like they were having a funeral as well. It's the first time I ever saw anything like this, and I it, it 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 almost made me spellbound. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And after a while, all the squirrels came back, and they went to their separate streets in the village, and life went on. And I've never forgotten that. And now to hear the story of the crow's funeral, it really adds more, I guess, not only more wonder, but more faith and belief and and almost joy in believing that the world around us is surrounded, is surrounding us with other beings that maybe feel a lot of the same things that we feel. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.